Vilenich is a lineman. I've got 13 players, although I've got 12 at the moment. Let's go beat someone up, because the humans are angry! Yeah, so normally I would I would definitely agree with you. I think having one catcher for, for one or two turn touchdowns is enough. With Armor 8, I'm more interested to trying it, because, you know, Strength 2 Blodge with Movement 8 is really not bad. Oh, Orcs. Orcs are not a good matchup. I don't get any petty cash. My opponent does. He'll get a vape, I guess. Or he could get something better. If we had all inducements, I would get a uh, chainsaw in his case. The orc chainsaw is only 100k, which makes him really good because he's cheap. Yes, orc team. That's right. Five, four, three. Two, one. Get ready. Orcs is. I don't see a troll. That is a pity. And I've lost the toss, so I'm guessing I'm re I'm kicking now. <clears throat> hey. Hello. Cool. I'm receiving after all. He's got. One mighty blow, and uh, not much else. I guess ball handling with the thrower kind of makes sense. So he doesn't have a bench, and I do. I've got more mighty blow than he does, essentially. And I've got a dirty player, so I can foul stuff. He has one mighty blow blitzer and one uh, block black orc. So I'm going to try and bash and foul the shit out of him. Something like this. You block here. You block here because. Nick. Do you do the Dutch for me? No, it's me. Oh. Ah, okay. Yeah, sure. I thought that she would have been away. Sorry about that, guys. Brief uh, domestic meeting. A bribe! That's nice. I've got a dirty player. And I've got the ball in hand. So far, so good. That is not quite excellent there. Yay, someone who greets on his own. <laughs> Uh, pretty close, Hunter. Pretty damn close. Could you do this for me? Uh, why? What? Something like that. Uh, I actually did misunderstand her. Oh, for crying out loud. <sighs> Not worth it. Not worth it. I'm just gonna file somebody else then. This is my dirty player, so I want you here. 
There's no frenzy on them. This is a three die. But that means fouling alignment. I guess I'm just not fouling this turn at all, really. Which means I might as well go here, get safe. Damn, I really wanted to foul this black work. Well, next turn, gadget, next turn. Gotcha. I'll just follow that up. Bam! Go! Oh wow, I really love the animation on the human blitzer, to be honest. They just kick ass, visually. Uh, go here. And I suppose if this fails, this is not a nice place to be. I'll want to screen this guy off a little. I'll make this two die first because it has a reroll and because um, guard is a thing. And if I fail his uh, bonehead, for instance, I no longer have that guard to rely on. Come on, three die the motherfucker. No, you shit. Well, at least I've, I haven't exposed the ball here. That was a rubbish, rubbish turn. Uh, so my wife have been has been wrapping gifts for a while, and she's now uh, uh, brushing her teeth with an electric toothbrush. Yes, it is a very sensitive microphone. The ogre worth it? Um, I'm not sure. I think I think humans do. Uh, hey there, Biggles. Good to see you. So what was up the other day? You came into the chat and said, oh my god, death is calling, and then you left again. <laughs> I hope everything's alright. Look, Biggles, did you see who you are yet? You're a plus strength blitzer on this team. I'll bloody well determine who I want to look at. Thank you, Cyanide. Well, he was gone for quite a long time, Hunter. <laughs> yep, yeah, you're a good blitzer, that's for sure. So, let's see, I don't have guard, but I do have an assist. If I block this, I can blitz there. Can I surf it? Yes, I can. Um, I'm not sure yet, uh, Killer. That's part of the fun, isn't it? So I could guard this up. Really, if I surf with this guy though, I'm gonna get surfed back, I suppose. But guard might help a little bit. I really need this block to be good. And it is, it is great. Thank you. Follow it up. So I also kind of need this over to, oh wait, if I want to blitz that though, I want to do that first, don't I? So then I need an assist here, but I don't because I've got strength four. Yay, go Biggles. Go Biggles, a push. That is actually just the thing I was looking for. Follow that up. Get your guard in there. Yes, that works. And then get a lineman here. <laughs> and so we have a surf if it's a bush. Do I want to follow this actually? Not particularly. I don't really need to. Yay, got one. That's one orc down. And connection, connection, connection. 
Black orc down, connection down. Yes. That's an accurate assessment. Oh, really? A KO. That's nice. Yeah, I, I know how you feel, uh, Black Seed. Hunter is younger than that, though. So let's just go here. Uh, I suppose I could make this block. Uh, it's a one die. I would expect so, uh, Hunter. Sure, I'll reroll that. I kind of want to. Oh, the thing kept counting or something. I don't know. Fucking A. Oh wow, and I uh, two black orcs knocked out this turn. That makes this a great turn. Happy I made that reroll there. <laughs> Let's see how to surf this best. Hmm. Could I do a double surf? Maybe. But not if this guy goes down. Push here. Blitz this guy there. Yeah, that works. So I, I will make a three die with the ogre. I'll push him here. Then I will boots with the... Well, not with this from four. But I have a guard assist, so maybe let's see. Hmm, maybe not. If he dodges this out, that makes sense. Can't blame him. <laughs> ah. My mighty blow is stuck here somewhere, that is a pity. But I guess I could just blitz with my strength 4. <laughs> nice. Nice. You did? You actually made that play? That is fucking awesome. Let's see, 1, 2... This guy is a thrower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I kind of need to make a go for it here. Yes, I do. I very much do. So if I fail this go for it, I'll be royally fucked. But then it is a 2 plus with reroll. 
And it's good. Okay. Let's make this one die, shall we? If it's a push or better, it is better than a push. Then I can actually make a two die afterwards. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is the dirty player. So I don't get an easy foul in. Um, yeah, that's worth a reroll. Okay. I will not follow that up. <laughs> well, those majesties, I would say, uh, I don't care. <laughs> we we don't really. Most people, most you know, sentient people, don't treat the majesties with any respect. Really. Come on, do it. Finish him. Just a stun. It will have to do for now. Sentient people, yes, the ones who bother to think. This is already two dice on the over. Oh, he's SpongeBob. Ogar, Ogar strong. Yes, block. It's a good skill. I have no idea, killer, but maybe someone else does. I would imagine it's similar, but slightly more buggy, probably. You want to dodge here first and then blitz there. Or you can do that. Drat. Kind of liked having him stuck here with all of these guys. And now he's going to have to make some silly dodge move at the end of the turn. Okay, Beagles. <laughs> and how does that help? So the trick is now, how do I manage the stall here? That might help a little bit. I actually want to score with this guy, I think, even though the thrower is uh, close to skilling. That sounds like a fantastic plan. So you will do this block. Very good, Bustahimo. Don't follow that up just now. I've got Mighty Blow. Uh, that's a one die worth making, I'd say. Yay, look at me, I've got block. And then this is a one die that's a bit less nice. Um, this is an acceptable one die though. And I can push him here and make the other one a two die. I will not follow this up, I think. No, I'd rather mark them. Oh, that is a pity. It's not worth rerolling, in my opinion. Here we go. Well, enjoy your meal, Biggles. So, uh, Biggles, by the way, uh, thank you very much for for uh, supporting the stream. I've, uh, as you might have noticed, I've spent all of the money that you guys sent this way uh, uh, to make the stream better. 
So I've got this uh, this new set of headphones. Thank you. Uh, a pop filter on a now extended uh, microphone, uh, which you can see here. This is what my setup looks like now. So I've got this boom arm uh, over here with uh, uh, the, the microphone <clears throat> hanging quite close now. Um, and also I've got this new webcam, as you might have noticed, because everything looks a lot better. So thanks a lot for the support. Really appreciate it. I've spent it all on booze, yes. <laughs> hmm. Getting my stall in longer seems a bit hard. Yeah, so that's actually a sign that I took from the uh, universe. Why does he reroll the both down? That just rubbish. That's actually a sign I took from my old university building. It's Dutch for uh, it's Dutch for library. <laughs> nice morbid orbits. Welcome back. Oh, you actually cut your uh, your drink short to see it. Well, that's great. Dedication. So Hunter has a bit of a problem here. You know what? I'm going to go and blitz this. It seems like fun. Follow... Yeah, so basically because the microphone is now a lot closer, I don't have to amplify it as much, which of course helps. I will be setting up a quite dangerous screen here. So let's see. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this is good. And then here. So this is a risky stall, right? I mean, I know that I could lose the game based on this stall. Uh, who are you? You're a random lineman. Still, it might be worth fouling at this point, because I've got a bribe. I will do that. Which is a pity because, you know, if he gets sent off, it's uh, quite the waste. He doesn't. They stun on me. Well, you, these days you do get muted, right? Um, <clears throat> I mean, I know that Jimmy gets large portions of his uh, uh, videos on demand muted by uh, Twitch and or YouTube. Yeah, I'm really happy with the new setup. Oh, I've done this with 30 player to be honest. Hmm? Yeah, mach Let's not apo a uh, KO here. Sorry about that, folks. Oh no, we've got connecting black work. Okay, later, killer. Thanks for dropping by. Hope to see you again. So, we have a friend. And another friend. Oh no! Look at them getting all friendly and stuff. Now what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I can mark him with Hunter after I've made a block there. So this could very well be alright.
So, if I wanted to really escape this position now, which seems sensible, then I might actually need to dodge, which of course is not what you want to be doing in this situation. Thanks, mate! Thank you, Biggles. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh nice, another KO. Hey there Poker Jacks, welcome back. Uh, so uh, I've got I've went the first three games as wins, but then I unfortunately lost one uh, just now to dark elves. Um, so that kind of sucked. <laughs> I was wondering about that, uh, Biggles. So I could blitz this, but then I'd have to dodge. Hmm. Let's do that. Have you taken teller? Yes. So if I do blitz this, I might as well stall it out, right? Yay, I live. So can I get around here, in theory? Yeah, this is quite alright. 3 plus dodge, 2 goes. Not worth a reroll, I think. That's okay, Beagles. I'm sure someone will drop by and fix it. <laughs> Regardless of the maths, I really do appreciate the support. Ten. Tentacles, yes. You were just too soon with posting it. Right, so the good news is this guy has strength 4, so the chance that I'm getting stopped by Mr. Krabs here is not that big. He needs his half dot. He can force me to score, which would leave him with uh, two turns. But so far this has been going pretty well. Although, relying on a 3 plus dodge to make your stalling play is, of course, kind of noobish. Oh, this if it's a, like a both down, I could surf this, actually. It is a both down. He's gonna... is he gonna reroll that? Maybe. No, he doesn't. Good, so now I can surf this guy. That's nice. I'm persevering. No, I, I don't think I can make a very long undefeated run with humans. Uh, humans are just not good enough to do that with. I can do that with all elves. I can do that with uh, something like dwarves or orcs, maybe, for a while. Until you get a uh, really high team value and face too much claw bomb. But with, uh, with humans, I don't think that's possible for me. For anyone, really. So let's see, this guy has strength 2. I don't have block, though. Can I make this a 3 die? Three, four, five, six. Oh, bonehead, bonehead. My old friend. Yes, you need to have both a great coach and a great race in order to manage uh, to go undefeated. Of course, it makes sense, doesn't it? Bostahimo, you've been promoted to marker here. So I will be taking a risk again, but getting a surf in is just too great an opportunity to pass up, basically. Ha! Huh, should have done that differently. Well, I don't think it matters. Stay. Nice. A little stun here. Uh, 
I did see someone do that at once, actually, Hunter. That was one of the greatest plays I've ever seen. Um, he uh, was playing uh, Chaos against Halflings. And um, at some point, the Halflings made a one-third die on the ball, or maybe it was a half die on the ball. And so the uh, Chaos coach uh, decided to choose the POW rather than the Skull. Going like, well, Halflings need some... Uh, that is correct, Poker Jacks. Yeah, I got one. Another KO. And I suppose marking this guy wouldn't hurt either. So now he's got this guy who can go one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm really not that worried about this turn. Good. I did coerce you into picking a both down, but on that in that case we both got hurt, right? And it was the goal to get as many kills as possible, so it wasn't a bad coercion. Okay, so maybe I am just a, a hypnotist, you know. I did actually, I do remember one occasion where I felt like I was using the uh, the power of suggestion because uh, I was playing Dungeons & Dragons, I rolled a d20 towards my DM, it landed somewhere where he could see it and I couldn't, and I just looked in that direction and I said, it's an 18, and he looked at it and he said, yeah, it's a hit, and he just didn't re register the die at all because I said it was an 18, even though I didn't see what the die was, that was funny. I enjoyed that a lot. Oh, nice reroll there, buddy. Way to go. So now I could be all conservative like and go for a safe option. But of course, I do kind of want to kill someone. Preferably SpongeBob. Killing SpongeBob seems good. Let's see. So, if the ogre is willing to move here, Bustahimo can block Gary off. Yes, he does. Which means I've got three, four, five, six, seven, which is just enough for a nice three die. Ideal. And he should. I think. I think acting acting out your role is uh, is a great part of the fun of doing Dungeon Dragons. <laughs> and touchdown. So both my KOs stay out, and four of his five come back. A racist ranger, that makes sense. At least he doesn't have a troll and a goblin. So he's not going to one turn. Uh, what are my blitzers doing on the line there? Something is very wrong. Something is very, very, very wrong there. Yeah, a rookie. You can deal with one. That seems better. And a rookie with three star player points. Well, alright. You're expendable enough. So, right, so this seemed like a great half, right? It seemed like I was really dominating. But what it boils down to is that I've got a bunch of KOs and all of them are back. And that's the pity with, uh... 
<laughs> An elf player thought he was a homophobe. Well, that is nice. That is rich. Uh, yeah, I can live with this. That sounds like a fun campaign, Hunter. So, uh, I'd just like to point out to those of you who might not yet be aware that uh, if I'm offline and you feel like watching more Sage, uh, you can actually go to the YouTube channel and uh, you can watch just about all of my previous uh, games being played. Oh, pitch invasion! Oh, it's turn 8, it doesn't matter shit. It just means I get one guy blocked. One, one fewer guy blocked, basically. So if, if you like watching this, you can always go and watch some more over on YouTube. Um, the channel link is down below. It's youtube.com slash C slash the Sage BB with no underscores. And of course, if you're watching this on YouTube, the inverse is true. If you'd like to see this live, then uh, drop by over on twitch.tv slash the underscore Sage underscore BB. <clears throat> and you can join in the chat and uh, I'm really open to all kinds of questions and uh, fun discussion about Blood Bowl primarily, but you know, whatever. Okay, fair enough. So it was just a one-off thing then. I don't know, my, my uh, Dungeon Dragons experiences always are... Uh, they take uh, years usually. <laughs> Most campaigns are at least like a year and a half or something. Usually more. Half time. <laughs> um, I know someone who's uh, who's played as a construct, but it was just a warforge, so nothing too special. Uh, one of my players who started off as a half orc ended the campaign as a temple so he was actually some kind of fey spirit thing and uh, he left his half orc body to enter a uh, shrine temple thing <sighs> defense huh guard rookie Rookie. Uh, I, I do think you have an interesting imagination, uh, Bagels. I have one KO, which means I have a full roster, actually. Yes, a lot of Dungeon Dragons will sound crazy. And we're back to our rule of five setup here. And this time I'm gonna save it, damn you. Setup two, there you go. I've uh, I've played a couple of role-playing systems. Uh, mostly though, uh, I've played Dungeon Dragons and uh, uh, Vampire the Masquerade. Although we've actually used the uh, World of Darkness or Vampire the Masquerade system for quite a few other campaigns, um, like a um, 20s uh, Mafia campaign, a Western campaign, uh, and some other uh, uh, modern <coughs> modern settings. Basically, it's a, it's such a flexible system that you can adapt it to. Uh, to a lot of things. So I play every other week, every other Sunday, and then usually from uh, 4 p.m. to about 10 p.m., something like that. Maybe 11. 
War. War never changes. Perfect defense! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So... I don't quite have to guard... Well, I suppose I could do have to guard to pull off a bit of a stunt here. With strength 4 guy. Which is kind of a stretch. And then add a lineman here, a lineman there, and a lineman there. So this guy still has two dice here. Uh, this makes it one die though. And then this makes this a bit harder. I could I could do that. <laughs> that is amusing. It is as it is. Very very true. Although to be honest, I've played in plenty of Blood Bowl tournaments, and you could really say the same about them. Let's do this. Let's go all in on this end. So, actually, I think this would be better. Sacrifice this guy. Yeah, I like this. Oh, I cheated! I cheated! Oh, and he actually put him on the line, the fucker. Well, you know, my bad. My bad. Should have spotted that. Actually, you guys should have spotted that. Why did no one tell me I was cheating? Too busy chatting, huh? You ingrits. Yep, there you go, Buster Hemo. Still, that was the last two die block he's getting around here. We actually did play with a uh, um, with a si similar system to that hunter in uh, in our Star Wars system. So you would have um, reserve points that represent just your ability to keep on dodging and keep not getting hits. So they represent the way you fight with your lightsaber, for instance, and you keep uh, 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 countering and stuff. And that will actually eat up your reserves. Uh, and at some point you. Uh, you you're too tired and then you get you start getting hit and when you get hit you actually have a very good chance of getting injured because no one gets hit with a lightsaber and then doesn't get hurt right so in that system if you if you really lose a combat you basically run out of uh, stamina and at that point you will be getting bashed up and you could very well lose an arm or a leg or something of course it's all repairable there as well so that makes it easier for a campaign to run with a permanent injuries because your character will just be running around with cybernetic stuff after a while this looks hella promising to be honest hey there Arno welcome back and we have turnover Hmm. What to do? What to do? Whatever I do, I've got to file something. I think I'm going to block this guy. That looks fun. Yes. Stay here, I think.
I also want to block this guy because it creates an opening that Mac can get through. Good enough for now. Follow that. And get up in his face and prevent a cage. That seems like the game plan right now. I think I'm going to go and block this, which is risky, of course. Oh, yeah, let's try. Oh, good. <laughs> that is a lovely loner. So the idea was, if I got a push here, I would get uh, a blitz on this guy and run through and then a guard assist here. But well, you know. Hey, Alart, good to see you. Uh, I don't think it would have to be a, uh, a blood bowl roleplay at all, really. Um, I think it will be interesting to do to do any kind of role playing system. Yeah, so Alart and I have been playing Dungeons and Dragons together uh, since I was sixteen, I think. So about half my life now. Um, when I just told you about the uh, the half orc character who turned into a temple, Alart was the DM then. Oh, hello! That is a nice roll. Yeah, I don't think a blood bowl role playing would be too much fun. I don't really see that working. I mean, maybe for a one-off, you know, but I'd rather just play Blood Bowl if we're gonna focus on that that aspect. But some kind of... So I've never done uh, role-playing over, uh, over internet at all. Not even on forums, really. I know Alert has. And that is a turnover again. So, he's not really made much progress here. He hasn't knocked anyone out. Let's just stand everyone up. Oh, fuck off, Ogre. Yeah. Let's try that. Where's my mighty blow at? Here he is. Well, these guys are just going to stand up now. Stadium enhancements for humans. Welcome back. Uh, well, Alart, if you would be interested in uh, in DMing something over Twitch, I would definitely be up for that. Yeah, there has been precious little blood, that is true. Let's try and change that, shall we? Uh, no, not really, uh, Bagels. Uh, I've played as females a couple of times. I'm actually currently playing a, uh, a female character as well. Uh, but never anything really, uh... Do you mean roleplayed it is as it is, or just really pretend it to be one? Yeah, no, I, I starting off with a one-shot does seem like fun. 
So, uh, let's do a quick inventory who's, uh, who would be really interested in, in joining in this. I mean, I'd, I'd like to host that at some point. Um, yeah. I can, I can imagine how it might be. So, uh, if people really uh, feel like... Thank you, Hunter. Yes. Uh, if people really feel like doing a, a role-playing session with the the, uh, the Sage community, if you will, uh, I'd definitely be up for that. Please do try and do it seriously if you... Uh, if you're considering this. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Everybody's got yeah, so I did leave him to his own devices, and my opponent has abused that admirably. Goodbye, Aetherine. This is Sparta! Well done. It is a uh, tough matchup, Minza. Um, so what you, in order to make that matchup work for you, what you really need is a, uh, a wrestle dauntless leap guy or something. Someone who can just take the ball from the opponent no matter what he does. Uh, you want him playing on your terms. You cannot play a dark elf style, uh, slow blocking, dodging defense against uh, a solid orc team, basically. That is a very small kappa, it is as it is. Does that mean you're actually serious? Ah, oh, come on! This is not going well. He's not playing quickly, so he's playing for the tie, I guess. Ah, I see. Hmm. Let's free up these guys. So at the moment we're still looking at a one shot to see if this is fun, right? Alart, could you run an inventory of the, how this is uh, uh, of the interest that people are expressing? Because I'm kind of in the middle of something as well. Come on, be good. Finish him. Oh, bugger. Yes, Bride. No! Screw you, Ref. <sighs> Playing Blubble 2 doesn't distract me too much from the chat, but when it comes to writing down names, uh, that it does distract me from. Yes, the Black Seed. No, but I do very much enjoy all of the chat. Now how could the ref call that? It was a clean kick to the face mask. So this is looking uh, not too good. I don't have a catcher to one turn with. Okay Biggles, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, you seem cold-blooded, Duratin. 
Especially when you conceded after three blitzes. That was so cold blooded. Oh wow, I'm getting uh, a DDoS attack from the Raptor, I guess. So I've got a 5 plus dodge on the ball with my strength 4, I guess, ideally. Oh, where is he at here? <laughs> Sorry, Ratten. Well, I didn't roll the blitzes. Ah, this is not going well at all. I really don't want to add a tie to that. Seriously, I, I'm just talking bullshit, you know that right, Radden? I need to go here, which is one go for it. Oh, Fuck off. Last reroll, really? That tiny, huh, Biggles? Hey there, Valenich. Good to see you again. Yeah, so it might have to do with the fact that you puke up your meal halfway through, Biggles. Uh, you might want to try keeping your rice down. <sighs> if he stalls for a tie, I'm not going to be able to stop him. Hey there, Mato. Good to see you again. Huh? Where exactly does that come from, uh, Octopec? I must have missed something. <laughs> I know, Biggles. <laughs> Yep. Also, some people... Uh, so what El Mato said is definitely true. Also, some people don't actually um, skip the uh, the cutscenes, I guess. Which means it also takes longer. <sighs> I can go here, and then this is a two-die. Yeah, so sorry, Beagles. Uh, I'm from Holland. I think we're the, the tallest people in the world, probably. <clears throat> so I am 180, and I th I'm uh, uh, shorter than average here. Yeah, but remember, Biggles is also full of shit, right? So, I wouldn't get too, uh... Just a flesh wound! Nice, got him. Next to the ogre. Follow it up. Oh, nice! This guy is really doing well. 
And I guess now that I'm here, this guy can get up too. I don't know. I mean, Beagles is uh, so full of shit sometimes that I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm hesitant to believe you here. So I'm going to go with uh, Pixar didn't happen. So I guess the ideal is uh, four players, one DM. Okay, Octopec. Yes, I can. I can see how that's uh, that's uncool. Yeah, I can respect that. Well, he could be serious but exaggerating, right? That's uh, still uh, within the realm of possibility. Ooh, nice reroll there. Still got one more though. And we have something of a threat. Excellent. And a turnover. Okay, so I've got a 5 plus blitz on the ball. Uh, did I use my last reroll? I did not. Can this guy reach here with a go for it? Can this guy do anything? Not really. You I will just stand up. So I need to get closer to touchdown range this turn. And since Mach has three star player points, I guess putting him out there. I don't need to get closer to touchdown range. What am I saying? I don't need to score. I just need to stop him from scoring. Right. That was silly. Go here. So this is a 3 plus and this is a 5 plus and then I've got this. Let's reroll that 5 plus. I think this is one of the best shots I'm going to get. And a 5 plus with reroll is like 50-50. But when it fails, it fails. So, uh, Biggles, listen to Octopec here. I suspect it's also less frequent, but yes, it is very much uh, uh, underreported. True. does still feel like I'm going to tie. I don't have a reroll. He's got a bribe, so he can just stomp on this guy now. Yes, like that. Well, if his foul goes as poorly as mine did. But with four assists, it doesn't seem likely to fail here. Come on, snake eyes, snake eyes. No, damn, 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 damn. Well, at least he's safe. So he is stalling for the tie. Uh, Appoing now doesn't make any sense. No, not worth it. Ah, drat.
So now we have three wins, one loss and one tie. So, uh, Zaxton, uh, regardless of whether Biggles is telling the truth, uh, it is as it is has requested um, that we don't make this a, uh, a topic. So, I'd like you guys to uh, can it for now. Thanks. I have been uh, invited to do uh, Dungeons & Dragons in a channel, yes. So, turn 15. You know, I, I don't like it, but I'm going to risk this. So this will be another 5 plus. Which is, you know, it's a silly play. made the dodge but didn't make the uh, blitz result which is fair enough because that's also a 5 plus really um, so now that we failed that let's try this might as well here take them both down kill my ogre something <laughs> thanks black seed um, I guess that means for some of you guys, uh, the uh, the fumble stuff. Oh, sorry, that was the elbow of doom again. Just checking the uh, the number of viewers here. So I will, of course, try for a one-turner, even though I don't have a catcher. Um, you know, movement seven, it's not impossible. Let's see how he sets up. That will affect this. Yeah, true enough. <laughs> nice. Yeah, just waking up my laptop, which went to sleep there. Uh, I do have a catcher. He's just missing this game. He got injured last game. I could have hired a second catcher. I actually asked the uh, the, the stream whether uh, I should. The answer was no. So let's see. A rookie blitzer will try and make the... Uh, roll 20, that's what I've seen people use. Yes, uh, Putney. Thanks, and welcome again. So let's see, I will need to go into here. Oh right, so time is a thing. Um, So I blitz him here, then block him there. Uh, 
So sure, Biggles. Uh, it's it's not so much that I'm asking for advice as it is that I I like to give you guys some influence. Makes you makes you you guys feel like you're part of the uh, the whole experience, basically. So let's see, blitz here, push there, follow there, block here, you go here. So then you go there. I think I need you elsewhere, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a long way, though. It would be very, very cool if I made this, obviously. It's also pretty damn unlikely. Quick snap would help. A reroll also helps, of course. Still pretty damn unlikely, but uh, yeah. Come on, a push. Yes, so far so good. Don't follow that, because you need to go here. No, there goes the reroll. Uh, you need four, uh, Tycho, because you've got movement seven. So, at least this is a three die. Let's uh, not finish this block until. So this is two, one. So then this is two. I want to move him here first, I think. Because that's harder to reach after the push. Damn! Ah, even a pow here would have been enough, but this is not. Oh. <laughs> well, that was a fun attempt, at least. Well, of course, I cannot go an entire evening without a win on this team, so I will persevere. 70k winnings is nice. Yes, the hype is dead, very much so. 13 players, no skill ups. Come on, let's spin us something fun. Thank you, Knorr, for the host. Welcome Knorr fans.